what acid reflux reveals about your health. A brand new study has revealed that acid reflux is associated, is linked to a host of degenerative diseases, from obesity to heart disease, from diabetes to certain cancers, autoimmune diseases, cognitive decline. So basically the degenerative diseases we're trying to avoid. So that's the bad news, but there is good news. But let me break it down for you. Uh, this particular study looked at the fact that the organisms, the bacteria in healthy subjects who did not have acid reflux as compared to those who had acid reflux, Barrett's esophagus, esophagitis, which just means inflammation of the esophagus. So when they compared the two groups, there was a differing population of bacteria. And those bad bacteria, once they infiltrated the esophagus, they created inflammation, they created a leaky esophagus. So this is creating enough damage to the lining of the cells that they're not able to prevent uh, bad things from leaving. And we see this, you've probably heard of leaky gut, so leaky esophagus is the same mechanism. There's in inflammation and enough inflammation that now you have uh, what's called increased permeability. So things are passing through that should not in a nutshell. And these are inflammatory chemicals. So when they pass through, now they're out into your bloodstream. And so you have two problems. They go out into your bloodstream, so now you have what's called systemic or body-wide inflammation, hence the association with the obesity, the heart disease, the diabetes, that whole list I just gave you. And also there's the trickle down effect of this inflammation in the esophagus then trickles down through the rest of the gut and you get imbalance. So that's one mechanism. The other mechanism is that these bad bacteria slow what's called motility. And there is a motion and a timing of how things should pass through your gut. In your stomach, the food is there for two to four hours, as an example. So when things are slowed, what happens is that bad bacteria multiply. In your stomach, you have you should have enough acid to kill bacteria, but people who are on an antacid medication or are just getting older and don't have as much acid, then motility, the timing of motion through the stomach slows, and that slowed motility without the good acid allows for bad, bad bacteria to procreate. So now we have another mechanism that is allowing the bad guys to multiply uh, over and above what they should be. The other thing that happens, there's four mechanisms, is that um, you have a bile from your gallbladder. And when you have too many bad bacteria, bile is not broken down. Bile is a very interesting substance in that it sort of cleans the upper small intestine. It also rids you of bacteria uh, up there so that you don't get small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Everything has a, has a beautiful purpose in the human body, uh, but when motility is slowed, when you have too many bad bacteria, you're actually not breaking down and recirculating the good bile as you should, and the bad bile is more caustic, more irritating, and is producing, allowing more bad bacteria to, to reproduce. So we have several mechanisms, um, and it's also increasing more reflux. They, they all are. I should have mentioned with the slower motility, that's also increasing re reflux because of the pressure. So the reflux is creating the bad bacteria, the bad bacteria are slowing motility, which is creating reflux, they're creating the bad bile, which is creating reflux. So you can see how you can get caught in a bit of a, a vicious cycle. Now then we have the good bacteria, and what should they be doing is protecting protecting your gut, protecting your immune system, uh, normalizing metabolism so you don't uh, gain weight. And um, also there's the gut-brain connection so you're not feeling depressed or anxious or moody because we have that nice balance. So um, it's amazing what the good bacteria do and, and they're so health promoting and of course anti-inflammatory. So we just listed what the inflammation was causing all those bad diseases you're trying to avoid and the protective effects of the good bacteria are they're anti-inflammatory so they're not allowing those things to happen in a nutshell. But when we have this offset of, of bad bacteria starting up in the esophagus, then the, the good bacteria get thwarted, so they're not allowed to produce as they should.
Okay, so that's it in a nutshell as far as the mechanism is concerned. Now what do you do? So what the researchers cited was that improving the inflammation in the esophagus, improving the cause of acid reflux, you can actually shift the microbiome back to its normal state, which is exciting. So it's not something you're stuck with. Now, why isn't it just taken out to acid? Well, the PPI medication has been proven. I've done several new, several videos on this of late, uh, research supporting that PPI medication, unfortunately, helps that shift to the bad bacteria. So that's not your solution. Um, I'm not saying you have to consult with your doctor on this, but I'm just telling you the facts of the research. So what we want to do with acid reflux is to get to the root cause naturally of why it's happening. Why is that stomach being compressed? Why are things moving too slowly? And naturally reset that back to balance and then your body naturally resets itself back to the good bacteria and that has a beautiful trickle down effect all through your gut. So uh, finding a clinician who can really think with this, understands this, uh, I know that's not the easiest prescription uh, to find somebody, but that that is the solution because it's, it's quite particular to different individuals. There's not a one size fits all uh, solution or, or I'd be happy to give it to you. So, um, but knowledge is power. Hopefully this was informative for you and you can take steps to, to get to, the, to naturally reduce um, the cause of your acid reflux so you don't have all these skewed bad bacteria that are creating all these trickle down effects into to your overall health and shifting you to this pro-inflammatory degenerative disease state. So if you found this informative, please like, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, and comment. I love your comments. I answer pretty much all of them, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.